Good morning. We have uh, the Parayan that has just begun uh, on August 28, 2014, as the Gnani moves in front of Lord Simandar. And uh, my Namo Arihantanam, the highest namaskar to the one who has conquered all his inner enemies, absolutely and completely. And these include anger, greed, deceit, and pride. Highest namaskars to Gnani. Lord Krishna, with, in the presence of Dada Bhagwan within me, the Absolute Self within me, moving over to Lord Shiva, and highest namaskars to everyone who uh, is the embodiment of salvation of the world. And uh, Shiv Swarup. As the Gnani moves over on the left side of the stage to Ma Padmavati Devi, Ma Niruma, and Ma Amba, highest namaskars to Padmavati Devi in the black presence of Dada Bhagwan, who is present within me. And to Niruma, O Atmagnani Niruma, highest namaskars to you and As we see and do namaskars to the thousands of Mahatmas who are present here in the Dada Nagar Hall. This is the commencement of the morning session of August the 28th, 2014, Parayan, Aptavani 7. Everybody has to set off, shut off their mobile phones. And uh, we are in the heading of nature's awesome planning in the chapter that had to do with uh, chapter 17 was your pocket picked. The pocket getting picked is a sign of the effect is that of it touches the greed component kasha is within us. If we don't have any greed, then it will not affect us. Hello. Uh, Jai Sachidanand, the awareness of eternal is bliss. I bow to the Absolute Self, Paramatma, who resides within you with oneness, a feeling of oneness and deep obeisance. Jai Sachidanand. Everybody who is in all Mahatmas who are in the gigantic hall in next to Sim below the, the Lord and also those who are in live Jai Sachinan and to all who are watching this on live relay and today those who are present also Jai Sachinan to all of you. So there are three of th so these are the ones who are in the Spara and the ones who are watching the live relay. Now everybody understands Vohri Ludeluduk, right? Everybody understands the Vohri Ludeluduk. 
so now we are going to stop taking any we will not beg anybody's pain this is the final and we do not want to give it to anyone nor do we want to take anybody's pain we do not want to hurt anyone nor do we want to take on anybody's pain or pain somebody that somebody gives to us let us remain in bliss only let us read further there is a page 209 nature's pocket page 209 I am trying to find page two hundred and nine. Well, looks like this is an old one, isn't it? Let me see. I think this is the old one. Ah, uh, let's just see, see because I think yesterday is. Let me see what this this para is going on, all about. uh this is about we this is about uh, august 27th let me see what's going click here event has started so i think yeah right i need to get to the uh, the wrong, there was the wrong event uh, pardon me now this is a live event i was wondering and now we have the gnani <laughs> so this is the live event i was we were watching yesterday's now again the gnani is there okay so This was yesterday's event that we just looked at. So now here we have the live Gnani event because they all look like live events. As the Gnani is in front of uh, Lord Shiva. and highest namaskars to the gnani purush dada shri of uh, and ma niruma padmavati devi and uh, amba ma nature's awesome planning is where we are going to be reading at We'll be reading at nature's awesome planning. Pocket picking is an art of a kind. What would happen if all the pick pockets in the world are rounded up and killed? The world would be in disorder. I think he stopped at the first paragraph there. as the gnani turns and looks at all the mahatmas there so Asim Ji Ji Kar going on the Parayan of August twenty eight two thousand fourteen morning session has just begun.
Dada Bhagwan uh, Sin J.J. Karho going on. This is the live program. You have to look at the l signal of the live one on top left corner. Otherwise you will end up with the wrong one just like we did a while ago. And there is our Gnani. Hello. Jai Sachidanan, the awareness of eternal is bliss. I bow to the absolute Lord Paramatma who resides within you with infinite devotion and with just and sense of oneness. Buffering. Let us read further. Yes. Page 220, Gujarati. The money that people have does not belong to them. This is under nature, source and planning. It belongs to others for sure. Now who will take that money away from them? God himself will not come to down to do that. He does not need money. So the management is entrusted to you, humans among themselves only. You see, you know, somebody has got good money, well earned money, somebody has got badly earned money. The Lord is not responsible for making the adjustments. Uh, the pickpockets take the money that does not belong to you. Who then amongst you will be the pickpocket? It will be the one who has made a decision. This is, this, is, this is the business that I want to be in. He soon starts looking for pockets and nature helps him. You are free to enter into any business. Being a helper, the nature helps you. Nature helps to such an extent that a policeman present at the scene will have to suddenly leave right at the time the pickpocket gets ready to steal. So nature moves the police away to make room for the pickpocket to operate. It will arrange the circumstances for him and also the client whose pocket needs to be picked. The pickpocket has made all the preparations ahead of time. He knows which pocket he wants to pick. He also has a very good idea. We are keep on getting into buffering situation here. Um, he has a very good idea as to how he is to make his getaway and which route he needs to take make his escape. He has thought of alternate strat strategies in case he runs into trouble. Um, he has the awareness of 16 such things at a time and yet people despise him. Hey, how smart a man he is. The, the the thief knows which he has already pre-planned how he will cut the pocket, where will he run, who will deflect him, who will protect him, etc. He, even a high-ranking collector does not have such a talent. One man tells me, God should not let these criminals and cunning people take birth. I told him, this world wouldn't exist uh, if it wasn't for these so-called thieves and cunning people. People are alive because of them. I will give you a simile of what it's like. Have you ever brought the water supply from Tansa Lake to this city of Bombay and installed faucets in every home? We have Now we have the running water. What would happen if there are no sewers anywhere in the city? There will be a very... It is some kind of... Yes. You see, then there will be a large-scale epidemic. Rather, she says, well, these thieves and criminals, they are called sewers. God says, do not open the manhole. If you want to experience it, then open it once and decide whether that you will never open it again. I told him, these thieves and such people are the vitamin for the world. It cannot go on in their absence. So what happens if such people are not found or around? In this world, you will find only that which is necessary. Nature provides 
for however many such persons the world needs. They are the criminals born for cleansing you of your adulterated and ill-gotten goods. God does not do this dirty work. There are such people who will pull you out of your car and rob you of your watch and jewelry, are they not? So there is a need for everyone in this world. We are ahead of them in reading. If only clean water comes and dirty water doesn't leave, then what are you going to do? The good water is in the, is in the right direction and the bad water is in the right direction. Solution after the robbery. Solution after the robbery. Dada. He is reading at good speeds and I am ahead of him because of his slow speed. Solution, if, if you've got wrong money, money that has come in through devious wrong means, they will leave through the robbers and the con men and the con artists. The important thing when it happens is not to blame anyone else, just find out the reason why this happened and be in equanimity when you lose the money. A minute, I'm getting a lot of buffering problems here. Let me check something. So, the, you see, when you hoard food, that is not, and when you hoard food, then there is rot in it, but it food needs to circulate, you see, in the same, you see, there are, when, when a dead rat is, when a rat dies, there is a bird in the sky that will pick it away. Because there is a negative amount of money, that black market money has increased, there are also the policemen to catch you and also when, when sexual mistakes have increased, the, 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 there are also the people to punish you for those sexual mistakes too. So, Dada has this magnificent vision whereby he sees how justice is happening in this world. And he has the solution, he has the exact evidences, he can see them. And uh, this is only 10, there is a 10, uh, 10 page only material here, but there is a, we can make a book of 500 pages on the material he has spoken on this matters of money acquired the wrong and devious means, black market means. And you know, like you know, Dada has got so many evidences, he has seen so many ways that, you know, there are six people sitting, but the th only your pocket will get picked. The, uh, the, the world has got absolutely pure Shuddha Nyai justice. You see, this is good. This is a very major... Because we have uh, 
we have attachment to our own money that we have therefore we have dwesh towards those who try to take away the money from us but we don't realize that this is because of the rag for our money you see now the, you know even though your pocket is being cut dada is praying to the other person saying he is flawless you see uh and you can pray to the pure soul of the other person so so that he will never do this again so this is the kind there are some excellent dada did allow robbery a correction the thievery to happen in his own construction work also in his own business only he decided that the thieves and the robbers are all connected even the policemen and the thieves are connected in some way or the other he was not attached to money dada was not attached to money um let me refresh this i keep on getting this uh, buffering signal in here i need to find out why uh so he did not have any specific uh he was not attached to profits or neither was he attached to losses you say so and when the world understands the beauty of the discovery of dada they will get very magnificently impressed dada shri will show us you show you that the other the person is flawless as well as he will also tell you how this is all happening in terms of all the thievery etc this is all before his gnan right yeah he had this understanding even before he became enlightened he had a very high level of understanding how uh, that was his development from a previous life says dimple is asking what was it it was his development he he was able to see the nature of this world even before he had this understanding even before he attained knowledge uh and it in every occasion when somebody loses somebody takes away his 10000 he would he would then uh, know he was able to give his understanding through his intuitive knowledge even though he was did not have the gnan and so he was able to see so many faces of people who would make complications because they did not understand that it is their own fault from a previous life and he was able to talk about it and then he says that the the same very same uh, facilities that make people may misuse of like television and all the technology to make the to to cheat others the same so same media the same television the technology will also help human beings too he had that darshan and he he was able to bring the solutions he says you know he would look at a knife and he says yes a knife has the use for cutting vegetables too and it can hurt other human beings too but so he was able to see the positive and the negative aspects of everything when we ask for dada or niruma when we want to know ask from within then they will give you the answers what do i need to do if i get a beating in life when i if i take a, i take a beating in life whether it's a financial beating or something else if i see mistakes of the other people then that is wrong but you have to see that he is nimit he is nirdosh he is flawless and he is a shuddhatma he is flawless in the relative and is a pure soul as the real and you know you become your own first you become the ranisili yourself then you look at uwe and uwe's mistakes and then you t- t- then you see the other person as flawless and then you also see the other person as the ranisili you see because i believe that i was right and i was correct that ego was the one that was problem you see the nature is breaking my ego that i am right and whatever i am doing is correct 
I then later on, you know, you come to realize that I, I'm neither wrong nor correct. I am the absolute self only. Uh, whatever has happened in life is correct and just for me. Uh, there is nothing right or wrong in it. Uh, there is no regrets in it. There is no nothing to be guilty about. That is nothing to correct. What you see? In initially, before Dadashri used to uh, used to get upset that you know if this if they called him as Ambalal instead of Ambalal Bhai, he felt that he felt that his pride was being hurt and then he started looking at his own mistakes then he became aware that it was a problem of his own pride and nothing else and this is the science you see you are when you we, we, there is vignan science science means to be able to see it as it is you see you when to be able to see it as it is is called vignan and and it begins with the ab absolute acceptance that the nimit is always flawless. The other person is always flawless. It is not his fault at all. He's just a nimit. He's just an evidentiary instrument only. And then you start looking at the faults within you. Next one. This is the one should study all of these things, you know. Even if there is a little grass that breaks, you should find out. Because... What is, you see, what will the little boy think, what will the girl think, what will the, uh, the servant think, what will the gnani think, what will the f owner of the, uh, the, the glass will think, etc. You know, you should just think, find out what is happening. You can see, Dada could see when the glass breaks, he could see the phases in all the entire universe, universes, he could see the reactions in the entire universe. And so then he says, the, the glass is breaking off the neighbor of Uwe's glass. Why are you worried about it? So find out. That which can be seen. The other says that that which can be seen through the five senses can be understood through the, uh, through the intellect. And the subtle part can be seen through the vision of the self. Pragnya, Darshan, etc. Uh, Supposing you are sleeping that there is some noise that is in the kitchen at night and you are asleep, you see, there is no fear for him because he doesn't care. But if you do not know what is going on on the other side and if you are alone, you might think there is some, some robber or some ghost or something. So, but the Gnani has got the full experience, he knows exactly what is going on, so he is not at all touched. Then thereafter, no solution, no situation of life will bother you at all. Whether you know whether you are preserved or when whether you are thrown out, it will not bother you. You will have continuous samadhan or solution in life because you will be aware that who is the doer and who am I in this. And so we need to understand these talks of this thing. Because it's way, if, if you find in life somebody is at fault, then you really need to apply all of these evidences. You have, you have to come to that you... It means that you cannot see it as it is and that is why there is a darkness and that is why you need to come into the light of who you are and apply that knowledge. Solution after the robbery is the heading. When just as... Just as nature is the helper in the same way, SCE will help you. You see? You see, when the thief has to steal, when his merit karma is unfolding, he will all the circumstances will there and he will be able to escape without getting caught. And then when the sin karma takes effect, he, he will be caught and he will be punished, you see? And he might go in jail. So... So the merit karma and sin karma is on a principle and it applies in good deeds as well as in bad deeds in life. And so, so there is not a single link that does not have scientific solution to it. Everything is happening according to the knowledge only. We... We need to find out what was brought because of intellect from past life. In the past life you said, I want a house, I want a wife, I want children. That is what you brought in the intellect with you. But now we need to find out how much of it was possible because of 
your merit karma and how much you how much of it was not possible because of the lack of merit karma or otherwise sin karma effect you see we sometimes we would be in a car you know with in, in a bus with dada and there are, there will be 35 other mahatmas and they'll be fighting among themselves and dada is simply sitting there watching everybody not finding any faults with anyone you know mahatmas would fight in front of dada they would openly fight in front of dada they they not physical fights or verbal fight occasionally they even even get into physical fights in front of dada so this is you know then why are you worried about you know the the gnani does not is not concerned by all the calamities and the catastrophes that are happening in the world he he, he realizes that not, not a single subatomic particle is increasing nor is a single one decreasing this is just a shift in the change in the condition and the phase of these subatomic particles only you see so they turn this way and then they turn this way that is all and so, so from the from the like the, the like the wheels of a bicycle the wheel of a bicycle is on top at one time and then it's at the bottom and then again on top it says that the nature will supply all your needs then the intellect is asking that is it true that nature will supply all my needs if i am with the rhinocele then will nature supply all my needs is it all yes we 100% nature is 100% just and even if the fact that you are doubting is also part of this justice and somebody who does not doubt it that is also part of the justice otherwise whatever has happened is justice you are asking this question is justice do i have to believe it yes yes you can you have to believe it and you too can study it and get the all the evidences and see in what in which way the nature is absolutely just you know if you get if you get hurt the healing occurs on the fourth day it does not happen instantly or the second why did it go on for 3 days it is because of our own account of suffering that we had to be suffered and there is some other energy that is giving you the effect of your own causes that you led created in the last life and that energy is called s c e why did the pocket with the 5000 get cut and not the one with 200 dollars dada on the, on the word of nyay on on justice dada there is so much material of dada that is available to us nyay justice he has analyzed it so much that he has opened up magnificent and the in his only talks about two things either somebody curses you or somebody cuts your pocket one, one is got to do with your pride the other one has to do with your with your greed then there is the illusory attachment you forgot who you are and you got attached to some other someone or something and then there is the issue of sexuality where you are deluded that's all and these are the only four things that dara talks about people are independent the self is independent nobody can ind- who who is independent is it the original self no the worldly inter- this is this talk is all in the worldly interacting self only you see by nishcha the self is absolutely free it is through the worldly interaction that one gets caught and trapped in the world so it's a worldly interaction you are a father or a mother or a husband and therefore you enter into faults the self as through nishcha never enters into fault does it it is absolutely pure to yes the absolute self and the behind is also absolutely pure but even the the one who is awakened is pure but the worldly interacting self the one who believes or the one who used to believe in this and now the one who believes in discharge that i am ove i am nada i am kacha there that is the worldly interacting self that needs to improve and move away from this wrong beliefs the original self is absolutely unconcerned with all of this satsang that we are talking about 
It is the one who used to believe I am Uwe, who has become now Ishbin Rhinozile, who wants to become one with the Absolute Self and attain final liberation. And so if he is bound, then how can he become free is the question from Sanjay. No, he has been bound due to pressure of circumstances by the wrong belief and therefore once the pressure of circumstances, once the right understanding arises through the Gnanvidi, then he can become free. You see, it is the best, his best answer is through ignorance he is bound and through knowledge it becomes free. And that Gnan is what we are getting in the Gnaptavanis in of Dada Shri. In what way am I not the do? Am I free? Even when I am getting, in what way the other person is not at fault? Even when he is cutting my pocket and robbing me of five thousand rupees, in what way is he flawless? How come, you know, how come his his pocket gets hit? He has not asked for pocket being picked in a previous life. In the food, you know, if you see, if he has taken money that doesn't belong to him, say five thousand dollars in a previous life, the the filling and the emptying will happen. Now the ill-gotten money, how is it going to empty? through this kind of means only in this life, in this cause, uh, effect. All of a sudden he has lost his wallet or he has lost his uh, purse and you know the money is gone, you see. And the nature of this Pudgal is such that once you have received it as the body complex in this life, it, uh, it has come to you, it will not, it will, it will ultimately leave to, will it not? So it has to leave to. Yes, one is absolutely independent. So, you know, this, he is independent because if he had not made the mistake of knowing I am away and saying I am away, then there is no energy in this universe that could have affected him. It is because he made the original fault of trying to figure out, hey, what's happening? I want to know what this body is all about. I am away. I want to figure out my life, etc. And that is why he ventured out and because he ventured out, he, he created karma and then now another body as Uwe is in front of him. He is absolutely independent but because of ignorance and because of interference and uh, lack of ignorance, because of lack of knowledge, he got trapped. Once he stops his mistakes, then he is absolutely independent. You see? Stop your mistakes. Now you are getting the, the, the punishment of the mistakes made in the last life. And there are also mistakes of darkness. There are mistakes in darkness. The mistakes in darkness are replied in, are dealt with in Apta 29, by the way. For, But you see this, because the mistakes of darkness and deception, etc., the mistakes, subtle mistakes that are continuing to happen, these are the mistakes that... Uh, bring uh, obstacles in front of you and make you feel dependent and helpless. Yes, every Mahatma has attained the Self and ultimately he will become the Absolute Self for sure. The, the six eternal elements do not have anything to do with each other, but they help each other, but they also, they cannot hurt each other, they just help each other, the six eternal elements. You see, we all we need to know within this non-self complex is that I am as absolutely independent, that's all. And if I stop hurting other people, nobody will be there to hurt me. If I stop taking other people's pain, uh, I will, I will ne ne not give pain to anyone, that's all. But when you give hurt to other people, then... Pay. But then, then pain will come to you. If you remain with rag, then nobody can touch you with the rag, absolutely beyond rag and wish, untouched by anything that is happening in this world. Dada Shri says that I do not uh, beg for any pain, therefore nobody gives me any pain and I do not give anybody any pain. Because I don't take anybody's pain, I don't beg for anybody's pain, I don't take imaginary pains and therefore I don't give any pains to anyone. Because pain is so easy. 
in the in this life human beings are making mistakes because of lack of understanding and with the understanding they will stop making mistakes this is as simple as that and why is it that people do not feel your love it's because you see their mistakes and when you stop seeing their mistakes because you became free from mistakes then in people will begin to experience your loving form that you are is you know then you will come into the state of nirvikalp i am pure soul and nirichakpad i have i am totally beyond all desires i don't want anything and the six eternal elements cannot help or hurt each other they they do not help or hurt each other at all these are that is how independent they are again this is being repeated i don't know why this is being repeated but anyway and slowly this is coming up if we, if i stop my mistakes then there will not be anybody who will hurt me the other she says that if you put anybody else in trouble then trouble will come to you if you become vitrak then nobody will touch you and when when you hurt others then pain will continue again this is being repeated for some reason anyway once you become vitrak then all rag dvesh will give their effects and go away but you see you have become 2% vitrak in the gnan vidhi now you need to become uh, a 100% vitrak but if i take on if i beg for a pain then people will give me pain but if i am not out there to beg period if i am not begging then how can pain come to me i am beyond pain how can pain come to me this is so simple again this is being repeated i'm sorry but this <laughs> looks like shuddha is just repeating this is everybody is going to get the total understanding only now and they, okay this is a repeat scene again i you don't know what they're doing but anyway shuddha will keep on translate when uh, when i do not take anybody's pain then i am the blissful one am i not the first step we target that i don't want to hurt anyone but but at the same time inside you are saying that i am the blissful one so why would i need to it is, and the principle is that the one who is in pain will give pain the one who is in pain will beg for pain but when i stop giving pain to others then new pain will not come to me and and the old pains that i have given they will come in front of me but at that time i just credit them i do not take that pain on myself i am on this side of the line of demarcation i don't have to worry about pain anymore and therefore i am free from pain i am beyond pain and therefore the final level is that, that i do not want to get that uh, moved by any situation whatsoever the second level is the result of the first level the most important thing is stop hurting others when you when you when you don't have it your way then you hurt the other people then by supposing you have man kashai you have pride kashai when you man pride willfulness greed and sexuality are the four major categories of kashais when your pride is not uh, when your pride is not validated there is uh, kashai when you cannot have it your way in west sex again there is uh, pain when moha my son should listen to me because i am attached to my son then there is pain you see and greed when you sustain a loss when you don't get the money that you want you will have kashai so so then the ego becomes filled with these kashais when the ego moves away from those kashais then only one will become free from kashais second to no so second thing is that when when you do not get it your way when you are willful then then you are upset you see and then there is you burn inside and when you get it you are happy when you don't get it you are unhappy and then when you then when you talk about it you vocalize it this is you know what is it you know what kind of food am i being served etc so the kashais it's a kashais that hurt the other human being you see so if you walk away from those kashais Yeah, and then the then the pain that you create that you get from others is also pure misunderstanding and nothing else you see
you know and uh, supposing the food is insipid bland not as tasty and spicy well let it be at least you got some food right so that you can put it in your stomach why make a big deal uh, and now we are not taking the third step that i want to enjoy pleasure but at least now let's talk about the pleasure don't uh, the hurt don't give hurt to anyone and do not be hurt by others and the third level is that you know i i do not have i have any i any attraction towards the pleasant and the pleasurable things in life and so the, the heading is so so all of these uh, all of these uh, this you know this sentence that all the thieves and the con men of this world are vitamins for the world you see dada says that when the ego is clashing that is vitamin adversity is a vitamin it is we have the word vitamin for dada is very good it is positive for the world because it keeps the world going that is when two people are fighting that is the vitamin for the world but then is friction out of friction their ego will decrease then they will experience that it is not worth fighting and therefore they will move higher towards the non fighting state solution after the robbery is the heading Dada Shri, questioner. Dada, I continue to experience a lot of pain for losing money from having my pocket picked. Dada Shri says, would the money come back as a result of your pain? No, it would not. Dada Shri says, the money is lost. Why incur another loss in the form of this pain? If the questioner is our own intellect, and Dada Shri is our own pragna questioner. and you know if you can put the questioner is always the intellect and dada shri is our pragna giving the answer make that kind of setting you see and it will help you the miss the mr and mrs is going on mrs intellect and mr pragna that is what is happening dada shri says the money is lost why in can another another loss in the form of this pain now uh, what is the solution for that will it come back to you by suffering the pain instead if you take god's name then it will ease your pain and so it is pragna and chandu you see it uh, pragna talking to chandu question are the difficulties associated with daily living are an obstruction dada that is no but is that money going to come back what good is worrying about something that is not going to come back what is gone is gone dada shri question are still i cannot take the step towards god and i keep worrying Dada Shri says, "What happens by worrying? Do you gain anything or do you lose?" Questioner, "I lose." Dada Shri says, "Then why do you engage in a business where there is a loss? Why not do for a gain? Gain? Isn't it enough for a loss to have the loss, the money? Why do you incur more loss by worrying and suffering pain? Instead, remember God and come to the satsang, and even then you will have peace of mind." Questioner. uh question of sometimes i feel that the one who follows the right path has to suffer a lot more difficulties in worldly life or sansar the other she says you have created the difficulties yourself there is no one besides you in this world responsible for your mistakes you know our money is gone that is the first mistake the first loss that we sustain and then we uh, when we when we get worried and we make a big noise then we create another loss for the next life because of the artha and the raudra dhyan that is created is the wrong adverse meditation that happens <clears throat> the difficulties this is very good no individual in this world can put anyone in any difficulty the difficulties that come to you have been created by only you have clear you see this is You know, everybody says the good people are the ones who suffer in this world, but Dada is giving us an exact answer. You see, nobody find out why you are suffering. That is the answer. The answer lies in there. The difficulties that come to you have been created only by you only. Others just help you by raising your difficulties as per your wish. They are helping you by picking your pocket, and you call it a pain. How are they helping you? That poor man picks your pocket to free you from. your karma 
and you are accusing him of putting you into difficulty. Hey, you! You know, your adversity that is happening through the medium of other people is actually a, a benefit for you. You see, they are helping you to become free. Yes, your own causes that were created is now coming in effect. Nobody is out there who can hurt you at all, you see. They are just nimits. This is a very major discovery of Dada. If you give hurt to anyone, if you make other people suffer, then you will have to suffer the reactions of all that in the time to come. How are they helping you? That poor man picks your pocket to free you from your karma and you are accusing him of putting you in a difficulty. Hey, you? How is he putting you into difficulty? On the contrary, he is helping you to become free. Therefore, there is nobody in this world at all who can put you into difficulty. This is your own liability of your own karmic account. Others are mere nimits instrumental in the discharging karma. Before Nan, the other stress says, I was once traveling in a local train in Bombay. And this is a very beautiful work type, work, fundamental talk about the instrumental nimits only. You see, he is uh, at the matters of money. Hello, somebody asking a question now. We have the uh, exact understanding of the doer. SCE, scientific circumstantial evidences, we have a the doer. Then there, then there is no nothing to be worried about. The moment you say we have a sit, it is over. SCE is the doer, nobody else is the doer. Then there is no reason to see the nimit as fault. Deepak Bhai. People are helping you. They are just using those words only. Dada has just used the words. You see, the policeman went in the wrong direction. Did not that facilitate the pickpocket to cut your pocket? So, you know, these uh, evidences are helping you. Dada is just using this word, you see. All the scientific circumstantial evidence is gathered together and then the results come back to you. This is the exact answer. This is even before Gnan, this kind of talk is going on. Your own effects are coming back to you. If supposing you go home and then your parents accuse you of stealing their money, then they will drive you away from your home. So all evidences go wrong against you, you see. Before Gnan, I was once traveling in a local train in Bombay. An individual in a crowded train struck his hand in one of my pockets. I told him, dear fellow, there are only 10 rupees in there. Let them be. But he took the money anyway. That is how it is. He will take it. He is bound to take what is his. Another time, a man comes up to me, showed me his pocket and said, look, someone picked my pocket. I asked him, what did he take? He said, just a couple of papers and a railway pass. And I had 5,000 rupees in the other pocket. Dada has the vision of Gnan is sharing with us. He's giving me a saw solution, so many solutions here. We, nobody is going to take away from us. Nobody can rob us the rhinocele. Yeah, so, as long, the moment you keep some money in the pocket, then you see, this, uh, the nimit is already decided which nimit will take that money, an honest nimit or somebody who will be a dishonest nimit. Wow, he left the 5,000 rupees alone and took the paper. So I told him, you should have kept at least 10 rupees in that pocket so that at least the pickpocket could buy a cup of tea. The poor man must be disappointed not to find <laughs> anything. You see, this is the compassion of the Gnani evident here. The poor fellow, very good bhavna even for a thief and a pickpocket too, right? The gnani has got great bhavna and good intentions. Let him also get something out of it. Is there really anything that is worthless in worldly life? All of this understanding, is that vyavasthit? Vyavasthit is much... These are all evidences of Vyavasthit. That is not Vyavasthit. Vyavasthit is the result 
all that comes as a matter as a result of all the evidences arising. A barber can only cut the hair that has grown. Can he really cut the hair that has yet to come and grow? Says Dada. Dada has given us thousands of solutions in so many ways. You see, everything except the Rhinozele, Vyavasthit is doing it. It's not the thief that is... Vyavasthit means result of scientific circumstantial evidences only. You, the Dada is only talking about the thief only and giving us the evidences, but Dada has so many evidences when he looks at it. There is the time, there is the location, there is the matter, there is the, uh, the intention, etc. There is a cause in a previous life, then there is an effect in this life. All of this, Dravikshetra, Kard and Bhav, you see the intention, the location, the matter and uh, the time, all have to be correct, all of them have to give help before an event happens. And so this is the beauty of how SC is working. How he must have arranged in his uh, receptacle of intellect that is carrying forward Buddhi no Ashai, that I want to be a pickpocket, that I want to make easy money, you see. This is all, this is the, this is, this is all the exact effect of the blueprints of uh, previous life. And this is also not only an effect, but there is also effect of effect within this life too. <laughs> Otherwise you say that person cheated me this way and this person, she cheated me this way and she took away all my money etc etc and there is no end to it is there but he could see it in so many different ways that he would not blame anyone at all what is this Vyavasit? Uh, the, 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 the ability to see all this is the science and then that which is happening is Vyavasit you see the self can see all the evidences, but, uh, but the self is not part of the evidence. The seer is always separate from the evidences. The heading. Is there really anything that is worthless in worldly life? I am reading. An individual was traveling in a train and a pickpocket took 700 rupees from him. The, peep, the person did not flinch even a bit. He was not affected at all. There was no visible change on his face. His gyan came into his awareness and he knew it was Vyavasit. The pickpocket that day must have fell in, into luck. Otherwise, what would have done? What would have done had he picked a pocket without only three rupees in it? Even a good lawyer does not earn a fee of seven hundred rupees for a couple of hours' worth of work. People view pickpockets with disgust, disgust, but it should not be so. That is their earning for their smartness, is it not? I know some of them. They come and confess to me, Dada, I am in the pickpocket business. I tell them, fine. But check out the auspicious timing before you venture out because it is an extremely <laughs> risky business. Mm. Says Dada. Dada's compassion even for the pickpocket. <laughs> he could see it all. Okay, so that's your business. Be very careful, you see. Don't you get caught. Dada knows all of this, you see, all of this pickpocket. The other knows that these are all shopkeepers of the Pudgal only, the non-cell complex. And when you see the business of the Pudgals that is happening around, you become the soul, you become the Rhinosi Lady, you become Atma. Um, mm -hmm. But if more and more people, Dada, were to resort to these kinds of activities, then what would become of the society? Dada Sri says the pickpockets are not the ones engaging in such activities. It is because of these worthless people who hold money. It is unlawful money and it is for this unlawful money that these, these insects, these insects means, uh, these, this, this is the amazing discovery of Dada. In, the pickpocket is the insect and these worthless people who hold money, the people who accumulate money, who, who, who become multi-billionaire at the cost of the poor people, etc. You see, otherwise is God himself going to come and take away the money from these unworthy people? So it is because of all this money, is un it is because all this money is unlawful that there is an increase in these insects. When the money becomes pure, then there will be fewer insects, pickpockets. Just as these pickpockets are insects of one kind, 
Lawyers are a kind of insects and even the doctors are insects of a kind. As compared to the lawyer, these lawyer and doctors insects, the insects of TB, the tuberculosis are better. All these are nothing but insects of different kinds. You see, when the, when the barbers are lacking, that even the doctors stand in a line in front of the shop of the person who is cutting hair because, because he is in a rare commodity, the, the barber, in some places. All these are nothing but insects of different kinds. But which insects are beneficial to the worldly life? The farmers are beneficial because they cultivate the crops, raise cattle and supply food for all. Those insects are useful because they supply milk, ghee and dairy products. They raise cattle for this purpose, so the farmers are beneficial. And the doctors too are beneficial because they help the sick to heal. But some doctors and lawyers who work against the general human welfare are the undesirable insects that have arisen. They demand money, by the way, before they even treat the patient in India. That is because conflicts have increased and consequently so have the number of the lawyers have increased. And as the lawyers increase, the conflicts increase. These lawyers create conflicts where there is none. The lawyers create fights. All right. When what will person who has not received the gnan with the what will he understand about this? They will all also agree with Dada. They'll say. You know, but he'll say, when the one who, has, who is ignorant will say, yes, people of the world are like this. Whereas the one who has received none will say, yes, I am like this. You see, these mistakes are within me only. That's how he will look at it. So, so there, there might be some greedy doctor. He, he, you know, he will make the patient go around and take a commission from each one of those. He will make the patient get all kinds of tests and then get the patient. He is not, it's not his mistake. It is because, you know, and because you get such a lawyer or a doctor because of your own merit karma or sin karma. If you got, a, got merit karma, then the lawyer or the doctor will treat you well and uh, without uh, cheating you. And if it is your sin karma in effect, then you will get a lawyer who will completely empty your estate or take away your money. And the lawyer, the doctor too, will also will make you spend a lot of money for nothing. Um, Dadashri, because Lord Krishna says that Atma Vat Sarva Bhuteshu. Bhut means a living being and within the living being, Prani, those who breathe, Jivda, Jivo. Why did the word, Dada use the word insect? This means insect means Jiva and Jivda. That which lives is called Jiv and then that which is living and dying is called Jivda. They are not insects in the true sense. They are the ones who are going to live and die, you see. It's a colloquial way of saying Jeev or Jeevda. Jeev means the one with a life and that will go away. And Jeevda means the one whose life is going to go away. They do not realize how precious this human life is. The Gnani is not saying negative things about this. He is just trying to shake them up. And he yet the same, at the same time, he doesn't see them at fault at all. Somebody has asked a question, why did the Dada use the word insects? Because... There are two meanings of the word Jeevda. One is that one which lives and dies and then Jeev and Jeevda and the other meaning is insects. And in the translation here the word insect is used. I believe this first meaning is more appropriate. Okay, so this is all discharge karma. How can you blame anybody for what he is doing in his discharge karma? Questioner, these thieves, do they first look to see does this mean that whatever the disease, the microbes that fight it arise for sure? That the she says, that is always the case. There is this principle that whenever toxins accumulate within the body, automatically a type of organism develops within to remove the toxin or bacteria. You see, to the, 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 the bacteria arise within you to eat away those toxins. So, suppose if you tightly close... You see, if you tightly close, close grains in a bottle, you look at it after four to six months, there will be uh, little insects in there, you see. And so, in the same way, these, these insects arise because if there is a lot of junk in your lungs, 
this bacteria will arise within you and you will develop chronic pneumonias etc every home there is they, there is all kinds of embellishment of that which is not true if there is a, something that's happened everybody will kind of exaggerate it and then kind of hurt others and sometimes we are saying it for for somebody's good only but uh, but there's people uh, kind of exaggerate it do they not yes it happens says deepak bhai next when when uh infectious agents in the lungs are destroyed and removed by organisms that develop subsequent to the illness but our people say he contracted tb tuberculosis hey no the germs do not enter from the outside they develop only from the inside they grow from within says dada questioner these thieves do they first look to see if it is lawful or unlawful money a person has before they approach him and they do and then they do go to him or do they go only to the dishonestly earned money or and do not go near hard earned money then the other replies honest and hard earned money never leaves a person and dishonest and easy money will be lost one way or the other it will begin to leave one way or the other good wealth departs after giving you pleasure bad money brings suffering of pain before living this can happen through one having to go through major surgery experience pain and suffering and pay thousands for it black money has always a way of sneaking in everywhere we do not have black money coming to us says dada so we do not have to suffer pain there must be some people who do not receive any wrong money and they do not suffer any pain questioner what about the taxes the government takes away is that not like a license to kill dada she says no no taxes are legal taxes have no relation to black money the question is but there are some taxes that we feel are heavy and not necessary the other she says no there are no unnecessary taxes taxes are a necessity we enjoy many benefits because of them for example the wrong mistook uh, wrong money means uh, you know money that doesn't belong to you you have cheated other people you have hoarded money you have you have hurt other people you have uh, deceived others because of this money etc it 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 will not help you you see it will give you a lot of difficulties through good meanings if you have done the earning through good my intentions then that money the subatomic particles will give you pleasure because that has been done through honest means you see but the but the negative money that is come to you will bring you such lawyers and doctors and also the big pockets that will take away your money you see so money money is part of the subatomic particles account only and will give you pleasure or pain as it leaves this and there is a 5 to 600 page book called the book of money in which all of this is discussed in great detail by the way and so there is it how does money come to you on the basis of merit karma how does it leave you in the basis of demerit or sin karma in effect uh, and there is a very little bit coming in here in aptavani 7 uh, for example the government maintains a big army to defend the country does that not require money all these are steps taken for the income and expense of the protection of your country so you have to pay the taxes do you not protection of the country is also your protection so it is it is not proper to cheat on taxes it is a crime to do so the question or what about the middlemen who are lining their pockets dada dada she says they are elder brothers of the pick pockets <laughs> the senior politicians we pay them 500 in bribe to save 2000 in taxes ourselves so they are thieves and so are we this is all a coming together of thieves a gathering of thieves that is why there is a saying chor no bhai ganti chor the brother of the thief is even more cunning as a thief is there not so they are those are called thieves and those are called master thieves it is all the same it is wrong extremely wrong there is no pain in the world at all if everyone took money legitimately and enjoyed everything that was rightly his but there must be some 5 to 10% that 
earn an honest living, right, Dada? No, can there be a percentage? Percent is one out of a hundred. But here, out of thousands, there may be one or two such notable people. This must be so in the Kali Yuga, but it must have been in the case of Satya Yuga, was it not? That is, he says, there were very good people in Satya Yuga. You cannot even compare it to the Satya Yuga. They had a certain fragrance around them. Does anyone even have a, a little bit of fragrance here today? This is. I have read ahead of them and finished the paragraph, taking a little break while you listen to this. So, Hak means it is legitimate, unhak means illegitimate, not through legitimate means. And we have already finished the paragraph. He is reading the last four sent paragraphs. This is the nature of Kali Yuga. Only one in a hundred thousand will be honest. Kali Yuga Satyug. There were very good people in Satyug. Heading, the value is of the darshan, not of the shoes. The value is of the darshan, not of the shoes. And so now, as you go out, you find that your shoes are gone. And there is something new about it here. The value is of the darshan and not of the shoes that you left outside the temple. Questioner. I used to go to the temple every day. I only go occasionally now because two pairs of my new shoes that I left outside of the entrance were stolen. Dadashi, you go to the temple from now on with your new shoes. At the time of leaving your shoes outside the temple, tell the shoes, Dear shoes, stay here if you can and if you have to go, go. Do whatever you desire. I am going inside the temple to do darshan of the Lord then the benefit of the darshan that you do will be a hundred thousand times more than the value of your shoes. Provided you do it like we tell you. Tell the shoes before you go, but don't say it in a way others can hear you. <laughs> that you are talking to the shoes. <laughs> All right. All right. Then Dada is giving his own example. When Dada's shoes were stolen, once we had a similar experience with a new pair of the shoes. Once I had gone for a darshan to a well-known Jain temple on a street called Ghadiali in the city of Baroda. I used to wear a long overcoat back then. In those days, I did not have gnan. I would sit beside the priest and ask him questions about spiritual matters. Nowadays, I wear uh, somewhat worn clothes, shoes too, but in those days, I would have toss shoes, worn shoes, I would buy and wear only new shoes. So on this day, I had taken out a brand new shining pair of shoes and placed them outside the temple doors. I had no idea that the shoes this should, would, dis would disappear. When I came out of the temple, the shoes were not there. I kept looking around but couldn't see them. There was a man who asked me, Uncle, what are you looking for? So I told him, I had taken out my shoes here and I can't find them. He asked, were they new? I said, yes, they were only 15 days old. So he said, do not even bother to look for them anymore. They are gone. New shoes routinely get stolen from here. The thieves don't touch old shoes. I thought for a moment, what a comedy. Here is a nice long coat, a black hat on the head, and the shoes are gone. Just look at the fun. What a sight for someone's camera. Initially, I was ashamed to walk home without shoes on my feet. Then I thought, why not? What is wrong with walking home on bare feet? <laughs> People may question and ask what happened, but at least they will find out something new. In those days, everyone knew me in the neighborhood, and so if I were to go bare feet, they would know me. 
So when I started walking home, people asked, kept asking me, where are your shoes? One of them asked, this does not look good. Why don't you take a rickshaw home? So, so I went home in the rickshaw. I moved around with the old shoes for a couple of times, but I had a new pair made and then only did I go out. So now, so I know because I had such an experience too. I know you are not at fault here, neither is the thief. How can you blame him? He must have a real need for a pair of shoes. Only then he would have taken them, would he not? Nobody would take something without a dire need. Someone with merit karma must have taken the shoes. How else can a person come across a nice, new, expensive pair of shoes? Nonetheless, when your shoes are gone, understand that your account of karma is now settled. He is a little behind in reading with me. Deepak Bhai finds this very funny. He is reading the last paragraph. What is the form? Mm -hmm. He must have some merit karma, that is why he was able to take away the shoe, otherwise he would have gotten caught, would he not? When your shoes are gone, understand that your account of karma from your previous life is now settled. Let us now, Deepak Bhai says, let's take a break. This example is, is it before Gnan or be after? It is, he did not have Gnan. The losing of the shoe is before Dada's Gnan. So, you know, it's okay. He is now his Sanjay is just describing this event. Uh, he is describing this event of Dada losing his shoes and walking around in his black coat. He's just describing it. Dada did not, uh, Dada did not use his intellect, but then when somebody met him and says he doesn't look good, then only he took a rickshaw. That's all. I mean, the scene is clearly described. There is nothing to be really much dissected here. Uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, he, uh, Sanjay is describing Vyavasit Sanjog here, but this was before Dada's Gnan Enlightenment. You yes, see? Eh? We should be very grateful that we have received such a magnificent Vignan, this science. Let us enjoy it. Can you imagine that we would, if we did not have this gnan of the self and vyavasthit, we would have had to apply so many different understandings in life to get some kind of a solution. But here it is natural for us through the five agnas. Let's just take a break now. Jai Sachidana. So we're taking a break.
तेरे माथे पे मुगट है तेरे कानों में कुंडल है तेरे माथे पे मुगट है तेरे कानों में कुंडल है तू करुणा सागर है सब पर करुणा करना है ये पावन भूमि यहाँ बार बार आना ये सिंगिंग इन हिंदी स्पेशल पद फॉर लॉर्ड सिमंदर સમ 